Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to talk about how to use the sweet command to make this transition look nice on this heart pendant. Are you ready? Let's get started. I'm coming to the top view and to start drawing this heart shape. Um, one thing I like to do is always make sure that two of the line that I'm drawing is actually a little bit overlapping. Let me show you what that is, is I will have this one instead of starting from this point, I'm going to coming over to the side and then you can draw any of the shape that you want. I basically want one big and one small, something like that. And you can also turn on the control point to uh, drag those points to make sure that they are the shape that you like. All right, and if the line doesn't look smooth to you, you can use the smooth command and that will help you to make the line a little bit smoother. Uh, you can, you know, move in the bar here and click OK so that line will look smoother or you can rebuild them, whichever is going to work for you. OK, so I'm going to stop tweaking here and this line, I'm going to use a smooth command again and to make them a little bit smoother and nicer or something like that and click OK here. All right, so this is my heart there. Now we are going to use a sweep command, but I need to have some control point there. So I'm going to come in into the top view. I'm going to draw a square and starting from this point, I'm going to draw roughly about this size. I mean, you can change the size for whatever you want. If you especially want to set in the stone, you probably want to make sure that uh, the size can fit in into your stone. And we are going to making a copy. I'm going to making one to the bottom right here and one to the side roughly in the middle there. To have a better sweep, we need to have this almost 90 degree toward to the rail that we are going to sweep and we are going to do the same thing over here and we're going to do the same thing over here. This is actually 90 degree. Okay. All right. So we are going to do a test right there. Let's go ahead to use the sweep one rail and we are going to record history and I'm going to click on here, click here, here and here. Make sure that they all align into the same place. And this two is actually the same and this one is not facing the same direction. So I need to flick, uh, flip that one and that's click OK and we'll get something really, really uh, standard look like here. All right, because we record history now, we can take a look on this one and say, OK, I actually want you to twist inside a little bit. So then you will have a nice twist. I might want to have this one scale it down a little bit there. And if you need to twist a little bit more, we can do that with the gumball by keep twisting it. And this curve, I may want to have it smaller as well. OK, so if you feel like this is what you want, that's great. We're going to stop there. And if you feel like you might want to have it get smaller over there and then coming up to this twist. So you might want to add in one section over there. And I'm looking at the top view. I want to make sure that it sweep nice. So I'm going to tilt it this one a little bit and maybe twist it a little bit more. So then you have that nice twist and I can set the stone over there if you want to. By the way, if you are enjoying my trick and tips so far, you may want to consider joining the membership. I have a lot of the secret over there to show you. Just click on the join button or there's a link below. All right, so now we have this. I'm going to change this into the green color so it's easier for you to see. Now we need to create another cross section. I simply going to use the same trick. I'm going to use the square and snapping into this endpoint, coming at, at to, coming to the front view and make a square like this. If the square is too big, we can change it later. But let me make sure I'm making a copy snapping into this endpoint. And we are going to copy one here and copy one there. OK, so with this, I need to make sure that this one is smaller. And inside of this shape, 
So I might tilt it just a little bit more and put it there. And this one need to tilt it a little bit more like this is to rotate to the direction I'm going to sweep this one as well. I'm going to moving in. So that way I can decide it where it's going to end it. All right, we are going to do the same thing. Let's go ahead to use a sweep one rail. This is a rail. This is a cross section one, two, three, and make sure that you record a history, then make sure that they all align. And then we will get something like this. Again, we can twist this by tilted this one a little bit. So then it will be like this. If this one doesn't fit in into where that the red one doesn't meet that red one there, so we can move this down. And then we can also move in this one up a little bit if we want to, to make sure that it in intersect and then we'll have a better bowling union together. So maybe this one, I want them to be a little bit smaller like that. Okay, so if that were all right to you, we are going to finish it by using the cap command. Once you use the cap, you lose the history, you will no longer able to edit it. To make them look nicer, I might want to fit the edges. So let's go ahead to fit it, giving a tiny edge on all of them. Let's try 0.2 millimeter and I select all of them. So that will ensure your rendering will look nicer over there. And next thing we wanted to do is we want to put the jump ring on the top. So we are going to use torus and that's making a jump ring roughly about this size and having this embed inside of it. On the side, we also want to make a bell. So we are coming into the right view and I want to draw a oval. Let's rebuild this oval into a point and degree three. So then I wanted to do is want to, you want to enlarge this one and moving this point coming down. So it's not as pointed. So get something like this. We just need to creating a profile. I would like to use the conic corner, starting with the center, snapping right here. And the size probably need to be smaller so I can fit in into the jump ring. Let's see about this size. All right, and I want to move it this down a little bit there. The same thing is going to copy to the top, roughly about this size, and just make them wider, maybe a little bit thicker, something like this. So next, that's going to use the sweep one rail. This is a rail cross section here and here, and make sure that we want to close the sweep. We also want to record a history so we can change them if we want to. All right, if the bell look the right size to you, let's move it down. If not, you can always uh, have a history recorded. Maybe you want this going bigger a little bit or wider or whatever you would like to change for your bell. Once you like it, bring it down there. The final things we wanted to do is adding a stone there. So this will be your heart pendant. If you want to know more about the stone setting, I have the whole course about it, or there's a playlist for stone setting to watch. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. See you next.